Well, with today being one of the busiest travel days of the year, Southwest Airlines is hoping it can return to normal operations. Yeah, it's been anything but normal over the past couple of days. Thousands of flights canceled this week, but things are looking up finally for travelers who have been waiting to take off. Dana Casulo live at TF Green Airport once again with an update on how things are looking this morning. Good morning, Caden Patrick. Well, it's a great morning for people flying southwest. Take a look at this board above my head. So far, all flights are on time. Southwest Airlines says today there are only 39 cancellations nationwide. Of course, that's a major change from the last several days. Southwest canceling more than 13,000 flights since December 22nd. Another 2,300 canceled nationwide Thursday, about 60% of its schedule. The airline added a page to its website for passengers to request refunds and rebook flights. They're also offering to reimburse folks for most hotel and food costs. But between hotel rooms and rental cars, costs are skyrocketing for some people. And we spoke with a woman flying southwest, and she said she got here extra early with her family because she was worried about her flight. We're just grateful that the flights are going this morning and that Southwest is back to normal. We hope. We're still hoping we get there. Mm -hmm. I walked in the terminal going, I can't breathe. I'm still so anxious that we're not going to get there, but um, hopefully things are back to normal. Mm -hmm. And Lori is traveling with seven other people in her family, and she said she made all of them bring a carry-on bag. She wouldn't let them check anything because she was worried that her luggage might get lost. Live in Warwick, Dana Casulo, 12 News. Resolution is going to be to travel more. I like that. In 2023. Yeah. Hopefully it's a smooth sailing and <laughs> flying next year for everybody starting today as well, hopefully. New video mm -hmm. this morning, TF Green International Airport behind us here. All systems go so far today. Yeah, here and across the country, Southwest Airlines says it only expects minimal disruptions today and over the holiday weekend ahead. And after scrapping more than 13,000 flights since last Thursday, the company is promising to reimburse those affected. Dana Casulo live at the airport this morning, and these crowds come in waves. Dana, as you've noticed all morning, looks like a little bit of a lull in the action right now behind you. Yes, good morning, guys. Well, I could promise you about an hour ago it was really busy here at the airport, and that could be because of all the cancellations and rebookings and the fact that flights are actually on time today. So now take a look. It's very empty, so this would be a great time to head to the airport just because you don't have to wait in any lines. In the meantime, Southwest Airlines says it is trying to help any customer that has experienced a long delay or cancellation. According to their website, if your flight is canceled or significantly delayed during the travel period, period starting on December 24th, 2022 through January 2nd, 2023. You may request a refund of your unused ticket to the original form of a payment. If you had to make alternative travel arrangement arrangements, like hotels, meals, or rental cars. Southwest Airlines says those will qualify for reimbursement. Federal officials say they are making sure they hold the airline accountable. It shouldn't take an enforcement action from our department in order to get people taken care of or get them their money back. But if that's what it takes, of course, we're ready to do it. And TSA recommends checking your flight status before you head to the airport so you can see if there are any cancellations or delays. Live in Warwick, Dana Casulo, 12 News.